19 years ago, this used to be a pristine road that runners could run along. But if you tried running on that road today, you'd notice it's got cracks, potholes, and it's worn out. Those are the effects of erosion. And it's not just on our roads, it's every aspect of our environment. It's not just asphalt that's been worn away, it's rocks, soil, landscape, all have been taken away by the relentless effects of erosion. And just like erosion reshapes the terrain, 98% of runners over the age of 50 will be affected by this one thing. Today I'm here to reveal that just like erosion, there is something silently corroding your muscles and taking away your strength, which is affecting your performance. I'm talking about the erosion of your actual running. You might be skeptical thinking, how can something like erosion affect my running? But in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how this thing is chipping away at your performance. I'll show you how it's gradually eating into your stamina and speed. I'll equip you with two important erosion resistant strategies that'll fortify your strength like never before. Let's delve into this unique type of erosion and its connection to running performance. In its simplest form, erosion is like this rock. You can find it in a rugged landscape, sturdy and unyielding. But over time, wind, water and other natural forces wear it down bit by bit until it's reduced to mere fragments, reshaping the terrain it once defined. You may be wondering, but how does erosion relate to my body? Imagine you're a rock holding strong against the elements. Lean muscle mass serves as the cornerstone to your well-being. Much like the rock's strength allows it to withstand external pressures, lean muscle mass is vital for providing the strength and support for everyday life. In runners, lean muscle mass is important because it really forms the basis for basic strength for performance and mobility. A higher lean muscle mass is associated with a higher basal metabolic rate, which means that you are burning more energy. In conjunction with this, if you have lower muscle mass, there is a decrease in insulin resistance and that can also lead to excessive weight gain. Now, I'm talking about sarcopenia. Just like the rock, the muscle is worn down by various forces over time. While we don't know all the causes for sarcopenia, we do know that it's multifactorial and it combines environmental factors as well as physiological factors. Some of these are related to changes in physiology, like a reduction in the secretion of testosterone, growth hormone and estrogen, which have an impact on us sustaining our number of muscle fibers. And then there are the age-related factors. As we get older, we lose muscle fibers. Combination with that, the cells that actually repair and make more muscle fibers also start to dwindle in number. And then as we get older, we get adipose tissue or fat that actually gets deposited around the muscles. And then of course, most people also become less active as they age. And if you don't use it, you lose it. So the less active you are, the more muscle you're going to lose. So how do you stop this from happening to yourself? Well, that's where the two erosion resistance strategies come in. But to fully understand how they work, it's important to know what's happening inside your body as you get older and why this erosion is sneaking up on you. Just as the rock gradually erodes away, muscle loss actually starts as early as our 30s and it can be as much as 3 to 8% per decade. That accelerates when we get into our 50s and 60s so that if you don't do anything about it, you can have as much as 50% muscle loss by the time you reach 80. So that's where you'll end up if you don't put these two erosion resistance strategies into place. I actually talk about these in our Faster Beyond 50 Masterclass where I unpack exactly how to practically implement these strategies. We're doing another one soon and it's absolutely free. So if you'd like to attend, click on the link in the description to book your spot. The first of the erosion resistance strategies is strength training. As you get older, the only way to stop yourself from losing muscle mass 
and to maintain muscle mass is to do resistance or strength training. That means that you do need to pick up weights. You need to start by doing some body weight exercises so that you can get your body used to doing that resistance training again. But ultimately you're going to have to push yourself hard because what we want to do is build that strength up so that you can start to not only maintain your running performance but it actually leads to an improvement in running performance and a reduction in injury risk. Now, I can see you asking, how often do I need to do this? The ideal is to aim to do strength training two to three times a week. At Coach Parry, the saying goes, three times is ideal, twice is better than once, and one is far better than doing no strength training at all. Just like reinforcing the rock surface can slow down erosion, proper nutrition acts as a shield against sarcopenia and aging runners. So as you get older, it becomes much more important to follow a balanced diet where you limit the intake of pure sugar and processed foods, because those do have an impact on your body's ability to produce hormones that you need to protect and hold on to the muscle that you've got. And then you really have to make sure that you're providing enough protein in your diet. Having protein in your diet both hangs on to the muscle promotes your body not to break down the muscle but even more importantly it provides the building blocks to build the muscle while you are doing the work that you need to do to increase your muscle mass as you age. And finally, as you were taught when you were young that it's really important to stay hydrated. This is much more important as you get older. Nothing's working quite as well as it used to and so we really need to give it the most help that we can. So make sure that you stay hydrated. These two erosion resistance strategies are important to make sure that you maintain your strength as an aging runner for many years to come. There are other ways to maintain your strength as an aging runner. In fact, these methods will help you run faster, avoid injury, and improve your health span.